Love is a gift. It's not a feeling. It is an act. My challenge for you both is that you don't lose sight of the love that Christ expressed to you and that you express that same love to one another. Offer yourselves to each other. Love is always best demonstrated in sacrifice and especially in giving ourself to another. Encourage each other. Allow each other to grow. Listen to the continued dreams of each other. And don't stifle what God wants to do in your spouse's life. Austin, do you take Elizabeth to be your lawful wedded wife, keeping yourself unto her alone until death shall separate you? I do. Elizabeth, do you take Austin to be your lawful wedded husband, keeping yourself unto him alone until death shall separate you? I do. Father, we thank you for bringing us together today. Lord, I pray that, that you bless Austin and Elizabeth, that you go before them, that you guide them, and that they love you and that they seek you first. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. And I promise before God and all who are present here to be your loving and faithful husband as long as our lives shall last, to support and encourage you to lead our lives towards Christ with all humility and grace, and to be your best friend forever. I take you, Austin, to be my husband, and I promise before God and all who are present here to be your loving and faithful wife as long as our lives shall last, to serve you with tenderness and respect, to support and encourage you, and to be your best friend forever. These rings are outward and visible symbols to all who see them and also to both of you of the commitment that you have made to love each other faithfully until separated by death only. Elizabeth, as a symbol of our relationship with Christ and each other, I give you this ring. For this ring has no end, and neither does my love. And I give it to you, that you may wear it until our Father calls either of us to heaven. Austin, as a symbol of our relationship, with Christ and each other, I give you this ring. For this ring has no end, the same is my love for you. And I give it to you, that you may wear it until death separates us. I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Austin, you may kiss your bride. Friends and family, with great joy, I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Elizabeth Clapper. thousand six hundred and fifty five days ago Noelle and I had our first child we named her Elizabeth her childhood went by so fast from dance class to making me take her to WWE wrestling <laughs> to elementary school to a music career that most of you don't know about and I'm not even allowed to talk about <laughs> but my favorite memory bar none is every night we read your bedtime story tuck you into bed and you hear this faint little voice from down the hallway. One more kiss and hug. One more kiss and hug. Boy, what a father wouldn't do for just one more kiss and hug. And when I think of what an honest, respectful young man Austin is and how he treats my little sweet sweet. Austin, by the way, you love my daughter makes me love you. Elizabeth, thank you for giving me a son. I wish you love, laughter, and happily ever after, your dreams to chase and a family to raise, a child or three to be coached by me. 
and that you love each other like you've loved no one. To Austin and Elizabeth.